Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas. We are sitting under a gigantic aqua lens that we made. It took us about four hours to put the structure together. We have a large piece of clear vinyl that cost $150 that we stretched across there. There's approximately 30 gallons of water making up a parabolic shape. You can see what it's doing to this piece of wood. In this video, we're gonna be cooking some eggs. One egg. Wow. It's done. I use some of that nine stick spray. That's awesome. Take a look. This is nine square feet. Unfortunately, we weren't able to fill the entire thing because the weight of the water pulls down. This material is a thicker vinyl. This is about the thickest clear material that you can get. And the weight of the water just prevents you from going much bigger than this. This is about the maximum you can get. If you add more water, all it really does is get deeper and shorten the focal length. I have some metal solder sheets we're gonna put down there. Let me see that poker. So we're waiting for this cloud to go away. There's a little cloud above us. We've been fighting high cirrus clouds and a few jet contrails. But everything's moving really slow today. Normally the clouds of Florida move a little bit quicker than this. But still, it's relaxing. On a Sunday? Can't get anything better than this. <laughs> if you cook with one of these, you want to make sure that your uh, plastic doesn't tear while you're cooking because it could come down and splash oil all over the place. This is not directly, the sun's actually not perfectly overhead this time of year. It's actually just a touch to the south of us. That's very heavy duty vinyl, isn't it? Yeah, that stuff, uh, it's $150 that uh, 10 by 15 sheet of vinyl. And there was a huge seam that went down the middle and I didn't think it would actually work. <laughs> it's right in the center. I put it all together and I didn't notice it because there was dew all over it. And it turns out that it was right exactly in the middle. So, but it still works. That's serious hot. So we have total sun right now. <laughs> Need to be able to do something with that energy. Throw some marshmallows or anything. I mean, what do we do with that? It's awesome. Cook? Cook eggs? Well, I know, but I mean, when you're just leisurely watching it, what could we be doing? Uh, I guess burning wood. Burning wood? <laughs> doing nothing but the burning wood. Making pollution. <laughs> it's fast and hot. Now that the sun's directly overhead, we did the eggs earlier. The sun's directly overhead, and this oil is going crazy. Oh my god. Well, we used the spray earlier, but this is just. Intense. Oh, that's true. That was a. Wow. This is just pure oil. All right, Here, so we're going to try to get a, some popcorn popping. And also a high speed of it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you do it. Ah! <laughs> Shoot, you need to move it around at least.
this is how we make popcorn. It just flies all over the ground. I <laughs> could collect it. It's Gotta tr really try good. not to get blasted with flying oil. <laughs> it's really perfect popcorn. You could just contain it all together. So we were able to cook four eggs today using the simple water lens. I'm your host Denise Rojas. And I'm Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. So I've got this support beam here to move us to this side. I was trying to get some of the uh, debris out. We're draining this with a siphon. The water coming out of here is, uh, it's actually perfect shower water. It's about 105, 110 degrees. The water didn't get really super hot up there because it is clear. So it allows the sunlight to pass through and that is what made our lens. If that tarp was black, that 30 or 40 gallons of water would have heated up to 150, 160 degrees. So if you ever want to make a solar shower like this, you could line this with a black dark tarp. When you put the water on, you put a small hole in the middle, like a pole shower thing. And as you put the water up, the sun sits on it. Uh, you'll get scalding water that comes out. So you definitely want to have a way to mix the water. Clear is good because the water is bath water temperature. It's really nice actually. We're supposed to be getting some thunderstorms, so I didn't want these to get overfilled. I'm curious to see what two or three inches of rain does to these. I'm gonna try to get some of that debris that's in there out too.